says in the next verse, also, take no heed unto all words that are spoken, lest thou hear thy servant curse thee, for oftentimes also thine own heart knoweth that thou thyself likewise hast cursed others. And this is such an important truth that we need to understand, is that sometimes it's going to get back to you that someone said something bad about you, that someone cursed you or talked bad about you. And a lot of times the best way to handle that is just to let it go and ignore it. And often remind ourselves, like the Bible says here, that you know what? A lot of times we've said things that we didn't really mean. We've said things that we regret. We've blown off our mouth about the boss at work or, or said something derogatory about the boss. And a lot of times it wasn't necessarily because we really felt that way, but maybe we were just having a bad day or we were frustrated. And sometimes you just blurt out stupid things and then later you regret having said them. And so we need to understand that no one is perfect. Everybody's a sinner. There's not a just man upon the earth that doeth good and sinneth not. And sometimes people are going to say stupid things. They're going to say insulting things to you. Your spouse might say something insulting to you. Family might say something insulting. And you can't just let that become this bitterness inside you where six months later you're still thinking about that thing that someone said about you. You know, people are going to say hurtful and even downright hateful things to you and about you. And it doesn't necessarily mean that they hate you. It doesn't necessarily even mean that they don't love you. It's just that people are sinful. We get in the flesh. We lose our temper. We say something stupid. And I guarantee you that every single one of us could think of things that we've said that we regret saying. And so that's what you got to remember. When somebody says something about you or something gets back to you. And look, as a pastor... Obviously, I am a target for a lot of criticism. So people will sometimes report to me, well, you know, so-and-so said this derogatory thing about you. And, and, you know, a lot of times I just chalk it up as just, you know what, it is what it is. I've said derogatory things about others, and that's just the way life is. So what the Bible is saying here is take not heed unto all things that are spoken. You know, don't just grab hold of every single thing that someone says and just hang on to that. But it's often helpful and gracious and honorable to just forget that you heard certain things and just kind of let things go. That's part of being patient and long-suffering and meek is not reacting to every insult that's thrown at you. Sometimes it's good to just ignore it, let it go, forget about it, especially if someone apologizes. I mean, if someone apologizes, it should be forgiven and forgotten. But even if they don't apologize, and especially when you overhear something that maybe you weren't supposed to hear, you know, that's kind of the, the situation that comes to mind here because, you know, you hear your servant curse you. He probably didn't intend for you to hear that. You know, he probably thought that you weren't around and, he, he, you know, he blew off his mouth or whatever. So anyway, that's some really practical good advice from the Bible there, not to just obsess over everything that anyone says.